Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nora Akali Bibi Tadina. My metric number is 271. And today I would like to do a movie review that released on 2005 by Nikki Carroll and titled Not Country. Yes, I have seen that face before. Please do not make speculation seems like me once you heard the title. Because of this movie is actually a good movie, interesting movie to watch and it's actually a um, have a really big message to deliver to especially for women because once you watch this movie you will feel grateful for being woman on this generation like you you will you will be grateful for living in the woman always right generation or trend because a long time ago there is no guy who accept your voice or not there is no people who stand up for your rights even though you try by yourself people would like why is she doing like that why is she why is she so numb why is she so you know there is so many mental abusive ones who want to stand up for your right, even for your dignity and even for your uh, like women's right, you know, women's right. So you need to watch this movie because this movie is actually inspired by real life history by an American female named Louise Jensen. And even though you are a guy or boy, please watch this movie also because this movie will teach you to appreciate your mom, your sister, your wife, your girlfriend, your okay, even uh um, especially if you have a daughter or future daughter you'll be concerned for their rights and will, will be more protective to them because once you watch this movie you will like you will you will curse to like what i mean like why you do like that like she's a girl you are so in malay what we call is dayus yes this movie will teach, you, will teach you that you will get a really big lesson from this movie so please watch yes okay but before that, I would like to introduce the best line. It's actually have a many line like best line in this movie, but I will make it small scope to to an, to the actor or actress that our generation knows and famous on this era, on this year. Which is first we have uh, Charles Theron, which is Charles Theron is actually a hero in this movie. Actually, I actually do not know her before. I have been seen her, but I don't know. I don't remind what kind of movie she's been. Um, she's been a uh, too. So she's been oh she's been casting too. So so but I cannot okay. Long story sh long story short, she is a hero in this movie named Joycey. So uh, next one we have Woody Harrelson, which is a lawyer in this movie, lawyer to the Joycey, which is um like okay Woody Harrelson. Have you watched um Now You See Me One or Now You See Me Two? Okay, he's the one with the cat, the uh, with the cat, uh, with the head one, that playing magic card, that really uh playing and goofy guy. So he's in this movie and he really his character is actually really different from the Now You See Me. So you really need to watch this movie because he's. He's casting for a responsible and a lawyer, so yeah, you will be, you will see a different side of him in this movie. So he delivered in in this in really in real success. Yes, he made the character in real success. And the next one we have Amber Heard. Like who who never like like Amber Heard? Does anyone doesn't know Amber Heard? Like the wife to Johnny Depp. Uh, I sorry, ex-wife to Johnny Depp, the Jack Sparrow one on. Okay, uh, she's also been casting in Aquaman that been, had been a uh, Princess Mera character in that Aquaman movie. Yes, yeah, she is. She's with the red hair in the movie. Yes, yeah, the beautiful one. Yes, yeah, she is. She is in the movie. And she's young in this movie. So she's really beautiful. So guys, please watch this movie. There is a crush in this movie. So please watch. So the last one, we have Jeremy Renner. I mean like, Jeremy Renner, his name is everywhere. Because he's the Avengers. Like, he's a, like, I, I mean like, Everyone knows Hulk Eye, like everyone knows Hulk Eye, or everyone knows uh, Avengers. Yes, so he's in the movie, but he's kind of annoying in this movie. So, girl, if you have a crush on Jeremy Renner, please come yourself, same like me. Like, the first time you see her, you see him being like that, like, you fucking awesome. You are so dumb, you are so useless. Yes, that's the word. So, yeah, but before that, okay, I have been said that this is actually a real life history. Um, love story short is actually uh, this synopsis of this story is because of Joycey that have been um, sexual harassment on her school life and also um, their work from their work from her work environment and also her friends also receive a uh, sexual harassment and discrimination gender so she has a really she has a knot with that so she wants to make it in the court and make it settle down so that's synopsis of this movie but so that so that I would not tell you the history and uh, the synopsis, but I would like to tell you the issue that have in North Country movie.
to make you learn then and to make you learn and you will see like oh yes this is a bad thing like that so the first one this movie is actually work at the mining site so it causes a pollution so this movie shows the pollution there is so many pollution there is uh, air pollution water pollution and also sound pollution which is not good yes yeah, not good for upcoming generation because they need to you know this actually not renewable source so if it, if it become pollution how can we reuse we just we can reuse but have a lot of process and cost so yeah from this movie we have we could learn that there is a lot of pollution and nowadays we have a lot of initiative to to avoid the pollution especially on the west country yes there are actually more development to avoid this pollution so the next one there is a harm right to privacy which is Josie have made a medical report and the medical report is actually exposed by the hospital without her permission which is you know it's not it's, it's your privacy why why does everyone why does why eh, why does everybody were really like busybody and expose them without your concern and it's actually about your it's actually from uh, the medical report is actually about her uh, private part or like um, medical report regarding that to show that she is being um, sexual sexual assault so it's it about the private part and yes it's not actually like like long story short if 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 you have a boyfriend and you don't if you have a crush and uh, you just uh, keep him yourself but your friends the one who expose them like you have a crush on him you would shame and feel angry right so that's that's why this that's what it feels to be joycey in this movie which is it's actually inappropriate to expose to expose other people's privacy yes to, to expose other privacy uh, content or documents or anything that related to her privacy or them privacy their privacy and the next one we have discrimination which is on the mining side there is a lot of guys in this movie which is um they receive like i said before they have a really difficult to speak for their rights even 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 if they are speak to their rights they will be um they will be mimicked by the other guys and they also receive a sexual harassment like joycey have received received a sexual harassment by his uh teacher on the school life and also uh by um, the guy jeremy Renner at the at the mining side and also her friends and her group of friends which is girls group that working on the mining side also have received the sexual harassment content and issues that so yeah so if you have a children please do not watch this movie together because it has a, a really sexual harassment content like they can influence by that and the last one we have moral irresponsibility employer which is okay Joyce have a supervisor at the side and she has been um tell her story tell a story that she has been sexual harassment and so on also by the uh, also their friends also receive the same thing but the supervisor do not uh, do not doing anything and decide that the supervisor um blaming her the supervisor should take any action right but yeah so long story short this uh, there is a lot of issue in this not country movie but to make everyone like more excited to watch joycey have won she has won this case so that's why we live in this era we live peacefully as a woman in this generation so yeah there is a there is a my movie review so i would like so i hope you are that the con get the content and please watch this movie because it will really change your mind and really change your life after watch this movie so i bet you will not regret so yeah that's all from me so yeah just do not do not forget to search the not country right? Do not continue moving in your YouTube after this. So yeah. Bye bye. Thank you for listening.